We've been down this road before. More than once. But let's lay it down again real quick. Yes, there's a new BlackBerry. Yes, BlackBerry still exists. But this one is built by a company called TCL. And yes, there's still a market for it. At least that's the hope. From CES, I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the new BlackBerry. My problem with the last two TCL-built Blackberries is that they didn't have any of Blackberry's traditional DNA. They were basically tweaked versions of the same reference design that produced the Alcatel Idol 4. The new device, which is so new it doesn't even have a proper name yet, is different. From the soft touch back cover, to the reassuring weight in the hand, to, yes, the physical QWERTY thumbboard, this isn't a phone you're going to mistake for anything but a Blackberry. Its industrial design doesn't quite live up to the zenith of the company's glory days, the early bold family, but gets close. On the pre-production model I handled, key travel and feedback was good, maybe a little better than on the Priv from 2015, and the space bar contained a hidden fingerprint scanner, which I think is a clever move. Also, I'm happy to report that you can still use the keyboard as a trackpad to navigate the interface, one of my favorite innovations from back in the BlackBerry Passport days. The software on this demo device is such an early build that I'm actually not allowed to show most of it on camera, but at least some core aspects of the BlackBerry Android experience are here, like the hub that aggregates all your messages into a single inbox, and also the DTEK security suite that TCL hopes will make this phone appealing to enterprise types. I'm hearing there's also at least some kind of consumer advertising plan, but it's hard to imagine many normal folks buying a BlackBerry in 2017. We can expect the company to push the security angle heavily, positioning itself as a secure alternative to Apple and Samsung. And if this device manages to fix the build quality issues and software slowdowns I saw on the early Priv units, maybe BlackBerry can keep on chugging. Given the success that hardware partner TCL has had with the Alcatel brand, it'd be a mistake to take your eye off BlackBerry now. This will be Mr. Mobile's first BlackBerry review when it's made available later in the year, folks and I'm really looking forward to it. Subscribe to Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss that and all the other crazy mobile tech dropping at CES 2017. Till next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.